the South was reduced to rubble after the Civil War. Cities and towns' infrastructures were in shambles. Telegraph and mail services gone. The agricultural economy reduced to almost nothing. A transportation system in disarray and individual suffering had reached an incomprehensible level. As if the war's devastation was not enough, Reconstruction dealt the South another blow which stunted the region for another decade. President Abraham Lincoln was dead, and his successor Andrew Johnson blundered through various phases of Reconstruction attempting to find a solution. Freed slaves concerned about their status did not know what to do. Their former owners, for the most part, were equally baffled. The South was back in the Union, yet it resembled a third world country more than a part of the United States. Held at Transylvania University in Lexington, Kentucky, the Civil War and Reconstruction in the Border State Symposium was notable for addressing this very complicated chapter in American history. From Davis's point of view, slavery was part of the deal. From Lincoln's point of view, it was the principal threat to this fragile proposition. Symposium participants included David W. Blight, professor of American history at Yale University and director of the Gilder Lerman Center for the Study of Slavery, Resistance, and Abolition. Annette Gordon-Reed, Harvard University history and law professor who won the Pulitzer Prize and the National Book Award for her work on Thomas Jefferson and the family of Sally Hemings. And John McArdle, Jr., president of the University of the South, Swanee, a national leader in furthering liberal arts education. Symposium moderator was Jed Sugarman, assistant professor, Harvard Law School. 